Look at this. We've got aloumi fries on top, chicken in there, sweet onions. Jesus Christ. Ladies and gents, this is epic. I'm back at Papa G in their brand new shop. Well, I think it's been around for a little bit, but it's back open the last six weeks. It's been a mad journey for their man for us. We did the first review for Papa G on his driveway. Manny, mad at what he does. Love the food. You've seen the first review. 650,000 views. For us, one of the craziest reviews we've ever did. Locked up the street. People are coming from all over London, even all over the UK, in fact. I'll come back to the shop kind of paid a homage to the business, the brand and what they're doing. And uh, I said to him, not too much food. Here he is, speak of the devil. Bro, I said not too much food. Then, What's happened? I've got a Papa G train <laughs> of delicious stuff. Hope you enjoy it, man. Well, you might as well tell us what we've got there now, quick, got a right, quickly. Quickly, we've got the cheetah wings, sweet and smoky barbecue wings, fiery chicken oh, tikka wings, sweet chili wings, fire wings, really popular sticky Korean wings, the reggae reggae. We get the regular regular naked box, which is your carb free with the pomegranate That's the sort of stuff I'm into at the moment. Caramelized onions and peppers. No carbs. We've got different types of fish, original fish, fiery fish, tandoori fish. My favorite burger, the hot buffalo burger with fiery halloumi fries. We've got lamb seeds kebab wrap. We've got two types of paneer poppers, normal poppers and reggae poppers. Chat chips, period chips, and amazing slash. Mars, what's the way with this? No, sure. Try one bite here. Obviously guys, this is an invite job. I would normally just, Order while I want to order, but he's like, nah, man, come on. It's like, we've done such we've got a good relationship now. He's put on the whole spread. Um, first things first, let's cut to business. Dream watch, Jolly Rancher slushies. But on the way down here, the sun was popping his head out from the clouds. I thought, I've got to get an ice cream. Went to the shop, they had no ice creams. What's wrong with people? Walked in here, man's got his slushy machine on full blast. Jolly Rancher. Boom! Where are we going to start? Work your way down, start here. I don't think I can have all of this. You said you tried a chip. Yes. What and happened? It Talk to me through it. Ridiculous. I don't know what it was. was it just, should you start this end there? Yeah, you got it. That, that chip there, the red, the red one. This one? Yes, it was crazy. It's like, as a standard to maintain, coming second to these guys is not an option. That's what I think. It's like, if it's not quite good enough, it doesn't make the menu. Very, very important. Callum, these chips, what we used to describe as solid chips. Now on that chip there, look, that sort of some like curry, Asian powder, on there, super salty, super delicious. Here we go, right, let's get into the main event now. Paneer poppers. Look at that crust. Look at that batter, look at that cooking. Unbelievable. I was nervous. The first time we came, it was on the driveway. Would it, we haven't come into the shop now, would it lose that little bit of magic, that little bit of uh, special, that special little X factor? Come into the shop, is it gonna get more commercial? I don't think so. You better him. He's got back up. Same again. Reggae, reggae sauce. Oh my God. This looks good. He said that's his favorite burger, didn't he? Is that favorite burger? Look at this. We've got aloumi fries on top, chicken in there, sweet onions. Jesus Christ. If you live in uh, Grand North London, the board your normal takeaway. <clears throat> my mouth's on fire, by the way. Manny, my mouth's on fire, bro. Where's that heat coming from? Yeah, hot yeah. buffalo. Yeah, hot buffalo burger with fiery aloumi fries inside. Yeah, thanks for that, bro. <laughs> how does it taste, like? Stunning. Hey, that heat is building in my mouth. Yeah. All right, so next up, you got this, this caught my eye. Ready? Kebab roll. In an armbrook. But they look absolutely stunning. They look so good. But you guys should remember this, like, when we went there, it was, it was a madness review, literally, on, on the street, outside his house. Right, here we go. Who serves this stuff? So if I remember rightly, you said you're gonna have 
the fish, the paneer, chicken, the kebabs, in any of it, like burger, wraps, or in a naked box, cutting out the carbs. Health conscious, thinking of his audience. Now Callum, this is an interesting one. These are the fish. That's original, fiery, swerve them, and the tandoori. Let's try the tandoori. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. Little fish bites. Here we go. No, 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 it's coming. That actually like melted in my mouth. Tandoori fish, some sauce. <laughs> I've got more flavour going on in my mouth right now than I had doing my reviews all last week. Trust me, guys, there's like levels to it. There's heat, I'm happy, and Papa G. Those of you looking at what's now, I bet it's expensive. No, not at all. Six pieces of wings or strips, 750. Burger, 750. Nine wraps, 850. This is like bang on the money. Now, Callum, you had the burger, the paneer poppers, the fish bites. You've got the naked box here, bruv. Like, look, everyone health conscious, look. Absolutely stunning. And we've got, these are the strips. Proper. That is insanely cooked. And then we've got one of my favourite snacks ever in the history of man wings. Forgive me, Callum, but we've got an absolute, absolute repertoire here. I feel like I need to attack these wings before they attack me. Right, let's do it. I'm not 100% sure which each one these are, but I'm just going to dive in. They look crazy. Those are the Cheeto covered ones, mate. Wow. They're like prop up. Yeah, that's what some lip with it. They like, tasted stale. Oh. I'm guaranteed now these will not taste stale. Let's not talk about that one. That was horrible. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I've got a little like a Cheeto carpet on my tongue. This isn't normal. This is not a normal takeaway. Look at that, look. Juicy, wet, sexy chicken with this little like furry Cheeto skin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, next up, Callum. Oh, look at that. A bit of crispy onion on top. Mm. <laughs> wow. Smoky, sweet. What flavour is it? The barbecue. Oh, okay. Got that barbecue sweetness. Now these are the, these are the best sellers about me, bro. Oh, did you see that come off there? <laughs> oh, yeah. Because these are the Korean ones. All of these wings, proper sizes. You're not getting none of those tiny little ones. These are the good. <sighs> this scientist level going on right now. If you've got a spicy burger, some uh, fiery paneer poppers, with some sexy chips, some sweet wings on the side for me, a great position to your meal. This has been a bit of a whirlwind, like, it feels like I've come home a little bit, like, it was amazing to do the first one. Speaking to them as well, they have the music blaring, on a Friday and Saturday nights like a raving it, the whole town turns out. London's a big place and I think everyone knows who Papa G is. The single little shop, we've only got a sick man outside. No restaurant, none of that jazz. This is humble beginning stuff. Literally was selling from his front doorstep out of a wagon. It was like Narnia, the amount of stuff they were pulling out of that van. I don't know how they were doing it. Now he's come to the shop. Has it lost its magic? No, not at all. In fact, I feel like they've leveled up. Key things, they go crispy even now. The wings are staying, they're not sat in any oil. They're cooked to perfection. Better kit, better equipment. The drinks watch cabinet, by the way. Off the chain, got Jolly Ranchers, all the different Fantas, Calypsos, everything you can imagine. They've got one tiny bit in the corner with Sprite, Fanta, Coke and Diet Coke, that's it. Everything else, it's a wacky drink. He understands the game. Thinking back to the first review, I think I gave it a 9.2, which is funny actually, because we're trying to tighten up the scoring, so I'm actually, I'm incentivized to, to tighten people's scores up, etc. But coming back to this now, and having gone on my journey, even bigger and wider than I have done, than I had done to that point. I think 9.2, folks can say, oh, I'll just do the same school again. Nah, not today. I think this is proper exciting food. I want to give it at least a 9.5. It's improved. And most of all, they want a mad journey. Hopefully, this will start popping up around the UK because this is a flavour train that I hope you guys can get on board with. What an absolute pleasure. Thanks for watching, everyone. For me, Callum on the camera, the team here, Thanks for watching, and that is a review. We're licking your lips, checking the dips. We're checking out the best of the bunch, so you can get your best breakfast, dinner, or lunch. It's Matt D and Jess coming with a food review. We've been traveling, trying to find the best foods for you. Yeah. 
Now that's a review.